Welcome to Section 2, The Essentials, where we learn about the query editor and how to use its ribbons. We'll review the external data section of the Home ribbon and its five buttons, Get Data, Recent Sources, Enter Data, Edit Queries, and Refresh. The external data section is always available on the Home ribbon when you're creating visualizations. The first item in external data is Get Data. It opens a drop-down list of common data sources you can load, such as Excel, text, or CSV file, and the web. Press More to see even more data sources. Microsoft is adding additional ones all the time. In fact, companies have started creating data connectors to sources such as Salesforce, Facebook, MailChimp, and Smartsheet, to name a few. If you don't see a connector to your data source right now, chances are it will become available soon. Recent Sources shows the last data sources connected to Power BI. It opens a drop-down list of your recently used data sources. In this case, it shows how I recently imported data from a CSV and Excel file. Enter Data opens a new window where you can create a separate data table and enter or copy data into the table. The table can then be edited or shaped just like any other data source. Here is an example table I created. If I select Edit, it appears in the Query Editor. This is a handy feature when you want to include last-minute information. Edit Queries provides access to the Query Editor. You can open the Query Editor to edit your queries by selecting Edit Queries and see all the editor functions. Data Source Settings opens a window where you can manage settings for your data sources. It's a convenient way to see where your source files are located or change the data source or to edit or clear security permissions. Lastly, the Refresh button will refresh your data and run your transformations. That's all there is to it. We just reviewed the five buttons in the external data section of the Home ribbon. In this lecture, we reviewed the external data section of the Home ribbon and introduced its function. In the next lecture, we'll start diving into the query editor where the data transformation magic happens.